Alexander and the White of Mouse, written by Leo Leone, retold by Milana and Islam. This is a story about a mouse named Alexander. Alexander is a mouse who loves to look for crumbs and have fun. Crash! Every time Alexander went to the kitchen to get crumbs, the owners took a broom to chase him out of the kitchen, so he ran as fast as the little legs could carry him. One day when no one was in the house, Alexander went poking around in Annie's room, and he heard a little squeak and saw another mouse, but not just an ordinary mouse. Instead of two legs, it had two little wheels and a key on the back. I'm Willie, the wind-up mouse, Annie's favorite toy. They wind me up to make me run around in circles. They cuddle me, and at night I sleep with them on a soft pillow. Everyone loves me. Alexander loved Willie. He came to visit whenever he could. He told him of his adventures with the brooms, flying saucers, and spoons. And he, they spent many happy hours together. One day, Willie told a strange story. He, I've heard, he whispered mysteriously, that uh, at the end of the pebble path, close to the blackberry bush, there is a magic lizard that can turn you into whatever you want. So that day, on the very afternoon, Alexander went to the pebble path next close to the blackberry bush, and he saw a lizard. Lizard, lizard! He he whispered, can you turn me into a wind-up mouse like Willie? Yes, I may turn you into a wind-up mouse just like Willie. So for days and days, Alexander searched the garden for a purple pebble. In vain, he found only yellow pebbles, blue pebbles, and green pebbles, but not one purple pebble. That night, Alexander found out that his friend was soon to be discarded with the other old toys. This made him very sad. Suddenly, his blue marble wish seemed silly. He wished that he could give a wish to his friend, so he decided to go find the lizard. It was a full moon. Maybe he could save him in time. He had made his wish, and now he ran back to go see if his friend truly could be a real mouse. When he got back, there was an empty box. They had already got rid of his friend with the other toys. He sadly went back to his home, but he heard something inside his mouse house. He was frightened, but looked inside. And he was glad he did, because there was his friend. The lizard had done it. Willie was a real mouse now. And they hugged and they danced until the morning light. <laughs>